So part of the mentality going into recording this record and the previous records is how to keep the the tradition of, of jazz and improvisational music uh, along with a more cinematic approach. I loved this. I thought it was such a beautiful way to tell the story of like not only these specific to, to people, people but their love for jazz music and not just what it traditionally is thought of, but what it could be and what it means to them personally and how they're trying to kind of break the mold or break open the genre a little bit. And I just thought it was like such a beautiful mixture of like you had enough music in throughout the entire thing that for me like getting to listen to all of that and then hearing them talk about it was so so nice and when they were talking when they like main kind of jazz player was talking with the saxophone and he was saying that he leaves space in like when he's composing he leaves space in for the other um artists especially because those are the people that are kind of like the masters of those elements like those instruments the piano or the drums or the percussion like all of these different things that i think that's so beautiful when you can when you have somebody that purposely leaves it kind of open for the other people to play with it and make it their own and really contribute to it really enjoyed this one um, jazz is one of those things where uh, it's just, you know, super academic and can be really interesting, but um, oftentimes it has trouble uh, getting people's attention. And I think this documentary does a good job at, um, you know, giving us characters to sort of tie together with it and uh, watching how the music is created and how a lot of it unfolds and uh, yeah, seeing it all come together and uh, culminating into this final scene where they perform it live and it's just really rewarding and I really enjoyed watching it. I really it. like um, the jazz notes. Uh, this music is particularly different from every other and created pretty much at the spot which maybe involves bigger talents from the artist. Uh, they all seem to be very spontaneous and having fun and passion with whatever instrument they play at when playing jazz. So I really like this sort of documentary about this group of jazz players and how passionate they are to perform and also hearing in the background the arrange arrangements with the jazz uh, music and how they accomplish this kind of symphony. Um, it was it was very nice to watch. It was really neat to get behind the scenes um, and get a look at how these band members all come together on stage and how each of their small parts uh, contribute to, to bring this robust uh, sound to life. I liked what the mixing engineer said about ear candy. Um, actually did feel like the sound was very tasty to my ears. Their sound is energetic, upbeat, well-polished, full-bodied. Um, the filmmakers actually made me feel like I was watching a, a record spin. This one's really cool. It's, you know, documentaries that are about interesting-looking things or interesting things to watch are just inherently... It's hard to mess them up, you know? Like, uh, like The Last Dance with Michael Jordan is a docu-series that their B-roll is watching Michael Jordan play. This is like a documentary about like this orchestra and these people playing together and they're all extremely talented and the B-roll is getting to just listen to this music. So it's really great and I, I think that the filmmakers did like a pretty solid job of balancing that out so it wasn't, you know, um, we didn't listen to too much talking without being able to like listen to music and we didn't listen to too much music without having like this excellent like little explanation and uh, like kind of like narration to fill in all the gaps and i i really i really dug it i loved this ode to jazz and this uh the sneak peek behind the scenes into the band's creation of their album you can tell their their love for the music and it was so thoughtful and it just makes the music feel that much richer and that much 
more enjoyable when you get the thought process and their creative process throughout the whole um, album. It just made me want to go out and listen to it more. And um, it, it really brought you in as almost a friend to the process rather than an outsider. You felt like you were really going into the studio with them. 